Babe, come here. Let me show you. Coming. Okay, let's close the door. Hey, so let What's me show up? you my newest find, okay? What's up, baby? Hey, everybody. You know Los Angeles here? So I'm just going to show her. And Joe. And <laughs> Joe Jawash. Our newest find that I found. And uh, what am I going to use it for? Okay? So let me show you the first one. So the first one is I had the blue 4.7 inch F5 for the wide deep scuff. But, uh, but I think it was a little bit too, too much power. So I traded it for a 4 inch F5. So you guys, you guys can see. Because I think the 500 millimeter focal length is going to be better to capture a few of the stuff that I want to see. So that's what this way I just traded um, for that. Now, nice, baby. close your eyes. I'm going to show you the next one. Okay. What else do you get? Okay, babe, look. You so. can, again, just join it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, if you can, if it's just think, give up and then enjoy it. So I think the <laughs> saying is, if you can't beat it, just join. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so this one. Now, instead of us bringing, this was from my friend uh, Mike on Canada Wide Astro. Let me go this way. Um, so I, what I thought, instead of us using a 10-inch Dobsonian, which is a lot longer, like another foot and a half, this one will be much more easier to bring up north in a car when we go camping and cottaging. So still both the same size. So anyway guys, I am going to show you guys more proper in depth after this video. This video is just to see what it was. But anyway, I think this will be better for up north to see the deep sky objects. So instead of using the eight inch SCT, you guys know what the eight inch SCT over the orange one right there. So instead of us bringing, yeah. So the, the last time we went up north, if you haven't watched that video, go watch it. We brought that one, and 8 inch is okay up north, but it's not big enough. I want us to see the galaxies and the Hercules cluster is really big. So um, that's, that's what this one's going to help. An extra 2 inches is helping. Right, babe? Don't you like 2 more inches? Yeah. Yeah, see? 2 inches is big. Nobody cares. Never hurts, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Next. Close your eyes. Okay. Get this guy over here. Yeah. Um, you know what? Hold on. Let me. I have okay. to. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay. So, you know, I sold my Astrophysics 130 millimeter refractor. Let me get this guy here. So, now this is, for, this is from my other friend Dave from Canada Wide Astro. He had a six inch astrophysics triplet. And man, feel this focuser. Come here, feel. Once you feel it, then you'll you'll know I want to keep it. Ooh, yeah, but it's moody. And this one's the the, the frame, yeah. And then this one, look at the pictures. So it's the same? That you can do both? Yeah, you can use both. This so one is for like fast. Nice. And see how much that one spins? So, my new astrophysics. Um, I think he said it was 6 inch F8, but I think it's F9 because how long it is. Gas so, is big. <laughs> now, remember the 6 inch and you said it's big? Now, remember, this doesn't even have the diagonal on it yet. Wow. Babe, if I, lo if I laid you down, it's probably going to be taller than you. Actually, let's check. Yeah, because I'm 5 feet. Almost. So if the diagonal was here and the eyepiece... It'd be just about as tall as Angelus. Wow. Okay. It's big. It's big. Okay. Close your eyes and let me get the last one. One more only. Okay. That's it. I close my eyes. Um, okay. You know, I've got to move everything over. I'll let it after. Okay, babe. Turn around. Okay. <gasps> Holy mackerel. This is also from the same guy as this one. He had a seven inch mead apple chromatic. So that's a seven inch. And he was gonna sell it on the US market. And I said, don't you dare sell something like this to the US market and us Canadians are gonna lose it forever. I'll save it. Wow. So I hope all you Canadians out there are looking at me and saying, thank God we have Joe in Canada because he saved it from going to the US. And if it would have gone there, 
it probably would never have come back. Wow. So that's what a seven inch looks like. Look at that baby. He's not crazy about telescopes. Babe, have you ever had a seven inch in your life? Nah. Nothing has been. 12, 12 was oh good. yeah, she's had a twelve inch. <laughs> yeah. When I just listen. I can show me the rhinos. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, guys, there's. I'm gonna do more in depth on each after. However, this video is just that. Uh, Amazing. Joe got a couple uh, more, but anyway, we'll see you guys. Yeah. He's a little cuckoo, but I love him. Yes. So, okay, guys, if you want to see more fun videos with your cutest cuddle on TV, what do they have to do? Like, comment, and subscribe. And if you don't subscribe. You're going to miss out a fantastic videos like this. Yes. Okay. You're going to miss out from first. I'm, as you guys already know, I have a Skywatcher Evo Star 6 inch. Okay. We, I'm going to do a, one or two more. I've done about three videos of it so far. Okay. Looking at the planet Mars. Go see it if you haven't done it. I've done an unboxing and then I've done a other video where I actually uh, used it and I told you guys what it was about. It's called looking through an Evo star. I was surprised. However, I actually didn't show you guys through a camera inside. So I'm going to do that next when the planets come in the next two months. I'm going to show you guys what the Evo star looks through the eyepiece with my cell phone. Um, and then after, I'm going to show you guys the Astrophysics 6 inch, an unboxing. Then I'm going to show you guys through the eyepiece of an Astrophysics 6 inch. Then we're going to compare the Evo Star against the 6 inch Astrophysics. Then the winner of those two is going to go against the Takahashi 6 inch. So you guys don't want to miss that. No one else on YouTube is doing that okay no one is doing one by itself then against the astrophysics the winner against the TAC TOA I haven't seen it and you're not gonna see it if you're not subscribed yes and then we'll do this seven inch big boy so you know what if you don't subscribe you're gonna miss all these videos and that's it plus you're losing us yeah. this is the most important thing okay guys thank you very much for watching us and don't forget to subscribe out <laughs>